Praise the Lord with me, somebody. Praise a man where with us. Praise the one that opened it and no one shut it. And the one that shut it and no one opened it. Praise our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. You are most welcome in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I am Kemji Chodo and I am the author of this holiness book known as Understanding the Doctrines of Strategic Holiness, Volume 1, The Doctrine of Strategic Components of Holiness. The book is available on Amazon. We are studying holiness and the obvious question is, why are we doing so? We are doing so because the Holy Bible teaches us that holiness is the qualification to make it to heaven. It is the requirement to make it to heaven. It is the condition to make it to heaven. The Holy Bible is abundantly clear that without holiness, no one shall make it to heaven. Therefore, it is our responsibility to study holiness, live such a life here on earth, all the days of our life here on earth, so that at the end of our life here on earth, we shall all make it to heaven. And I pray that you will do so in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We are in lecture one now, and we are examining the definitions of some heaven and holiness terms that we are going to use during our 150 lectures in series A and 200 lectures in series B of our Holiness unto the Lord Revival Studies. We have already defined 34 terms. Lecture 1 has 65 of them. We have already defined 34. Now we are going to define the 35th term known as atonement. 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 But before we do so, I would like us to commit it to the hands of the Lord. So wherever you are, please stand up on your feet and fall further on your knees and begin to cut to the Lord so that the Lord will give you a revelation of what it means to atom. What does it mean to atom? Ask the Lord for the revelation. Ask the Lord for understanding. Any Christian, any believer that fully understands the meaning of atonement can no longer play with sin, can no longer live a regular life. Pray that you will be among such believers in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we cannot thank you enough, Lord. Thank you for this wonderful opportunity you have given us to study your word. Lord, help us to understand the meaning of atonement, Lord. Help us to understand what it means to atone, Lord, so that we will no longer live a regular life, but we will live a life of righteousness and holiness all the days of our life here on earth, and, the, and at the end of the day, we will make it to heaven and be with you forever and ever. We give you all the praise, we give you all the honor. Lord, I cover this definition with the blood of Lord Jesus, in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. So, what does it mean to atone? The New Illustrated Bible Dictionary on page 139 defines atonement as the act by which God restores a relationship of harmony and unity between himself and human beings. I repeat, the New Illustrated Bible Dictionary on page 139 defines atonement as the act by which 
God restores a relationship of harmony and unity between himself and human beings. Keep in mind that there was a human need and this human need came as a result of the sin that Adam committed and the sin that you committed, the sin that we committed. Because God is holy, we were helpless. We could not have any relationship with a holy God because we were sinners or because we are sinners. And so, only God could do something because we were helpless. We could not do anything because of our sin. We could not have any relationship with God because of our sin. We were condemned by our sin. And there was nothing we could do because we were helpless. But God Almighty intervened and gave us a gift. Because of God's grace, He responded to our helplessness. He responded to our helpless situation. He provided a perfect solution. In the person of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And not only so, but we also joy in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom we have now received the atonement. That is Romans 5 11. So it is only through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ that this relationship is restored. That this relationship, that God restores this relationship. Of harmony and unity between him and us. It's only through Christ. It is also important for us to understand that it is the blood of Jesus that makes the atonement for the soul possible. I'm living, I'm reading now, I'm reading now Leviticus 17:11. We are saying that it is the blood of Jesus. That makes this atonement possible as taught in the Holy Bible. For example, Leviticus 17.11, I read, For the life of the flesh is in the blood, and I have given it to you upon the altar to make an atonement for your souls. For it is the blood that maketh an atonement for your souls. So this is a pointer, is a foreshadowing to the blood of Jesus Christ. So it is only the blood of Jesus Christ that makes an atonement for our soul. That restores this relationship of harmony and unity between us, the creature, and God Almighty, the creator. So it is time for us to pray. If you Understand what this means. That God Almighty restored this relationship between himself, the creator, and us, the creature. If not of God, then that relationship cannot be restored. Why? Because of our sin. Because of our sin, we are helpless. We are helpless. We are hopeless. We cannot do anything. We are without any power to do anything because of our sin. But God looks at our helpless situation. He looks at our hopeless situation and he intervenes by sending his son to come and die for us so that through his blood he will make an atonement for our sin. So that through his blood he will make an atonement for our soul. So that through his blood all our sins will be cleansed and this relationship of harmony and unity between God Almighty, the Creator, and us, the Creator, will be restored. You can only be a part of this wonderful relationship between God, the Creator, and we human beings, the Creator, by 
believing in the Lord Jesus Christ and saving him in holiness and righteousness all the days of your life. So begin to cry to the Lord because of your past sins, because of your past rebellion, repent. Henceforth, live a life of holiness and righteousness before God Almighty all the days of your life in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for what you did. We thank you because atonement is only possible thanks to you, Lord. We were hopeless, Lord. We were powerless, Lord. We were helpless, Lord. But you look at our helpless situation. Oh, Lord, because of our helplessness, Lord, you intervene. Because of our powerlessness, you intervene. Because of our hopelessness, you intervene, Lord. And send your only begotten Son to come and die for us. So that through his blood, our atonement will make for our souls. Because it is only through the blood that an atonement can be made for our souls. We thank you for the sacrifice of Christ. We give you all the honor. We give you all the glory. Lord Jesus, thank you for this revelation, Lord. King of glory, help us so that by the end of the day, we will no longer live in sin, but we will serve you in holiness and righteousness all the days of our life here on earth, and at the end of the day, we will make it to heaven. And you alone will take all the honor and all the glory. In the mighty name, of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you for watching this video and uh, I mean, uh, uh, I'm only sure, I beg your pardon, uh, I'm only sure to share it to your friends and share it in all your various social media platforms. And God Almighty will really, will really bless you. In the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The next definition we are going to, to see is the definition of redemption, which is the 36 definition. So see you soon in that definition, in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Bye bye for the moment, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.